You like the planning? Yeah. What are we doing now? So we're going to go get on a little fakey or a train. That's not a fake train, that's a no, real train. It's a real train. Goes to a real place. I don't know what the Himalayan was. And it's gone, it's right up here. That's a different train. There we go. Let me take a look. Not very alive at the moment because we're on stop for a bit, but. Oh, I can see it. And that's lunch back bacon and brown yeah. sauce. Bacon and sausages. Nothing Brilliant. Better. Especially when using the same shovel as you use for coal. Well, I'll tell you something, young man. A little bit. <laughs> so we're going on a train ride, like we explained. That's the engine. That's the train. I don't know which car we sit in or anything. We'll find out. It's just sitting there getting warm. We just talked to the guy about how they cook their bacon sandwiches. These must be like the freight cars. So, do you want to say anything else to the guy? You yeah, want to interview excited. him? I'm just excited to be here. Okay. Go for a chain ride. Good. I'm with you. <laughs> oh, it's okay. no, no worries. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He doesn't know when to stop. got on the train. Yep. It's currently not raining, but we're not taking the chance on the open car. No. Stay in here where it's nice. You got too close to the engine, you have oil on your hand. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Now we're stuck here. I wonder what we're gonna do. <laughs> Wait for the train to come back to the other side. Cause he's gonna turn around there. <clears throat> See? He's peeing on the floor. Mm -hmm.
Now we gotta race them to the back. Go ahead. I'll catch up. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Will the kids push the switching buttons? Uh -huh. This is for the driver. We've got one coming on our railway. So that means that we're probably going to the kids how the switching works and the control. Oh, really? Right. Well, if we're holding uh, one train on the line, what might happen? Well, there's two trains on the same line. So our driver has to know he's doing train. He says on there, off button, and I'm out. Which is where you are now. So if I give that to you, could you give that back to the time for a minute for me? Once we've coupled that, if you want a picture of the children on the front plate, you're more than welcome. Get down here. So this is a pretty cool part. Museum. Show you how a steam engine works. That's a steam engine. There's a sleek car. Yeah. Why well, they packed them full, huh? Uh, so they don't break. Right. Here's the process. That's cool. Especially since we saw those guys putting slate on the roof at that one pub we were at. Mm -hmm. And the gravity train. Maybe on our next trip, honey. Yeah. Let's see the horse would come back. Yeah. He got to ride downhill. Yeah, next trip. This one's called the buffet car. Okay. Huh? Spot for plates. So this this would be the kind of train that you would be on, <laughs> so right, the, to travel in Wales. Yeah. Well, they said the buffet car was to get more uh, um, fancy tourists, people. Tourists to take the trains. Yeah. And they said the passengers weren't very as impressed. It was just biscuits and lemonade. And it was very hard to keep the lemonade in the cup and get it done. <laughs> well, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So what a cool spot. Yeah. Isn't it neat? I'm glad we came. Yeah, me too. Yeah, people here have a sense of humor. No clowning around. <laughs> Oh, how the mighty have fallen. We start three times going around and change direction. So if we start until we're don't worry about it, we'll come back. I'll leave you. Um, if, if you drop in while we're going around, tell me at the end after and I'll get it. Because if you didn't have to get it, everyone might end up leaving out. <laughs> yeah. And watch out for you. If you put your hands out, it's quite tight and you drop it out and get fed. That one. Yes, we did. In York. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Here we go. Bigger train. Yeah. <coughs> There's a station coming to the end. Blowing the rain off. Woohoo! Gotta look out. <laughs> it is pretty tight. Yep. <coughs> Training. One little bit more footage. What did you learn in the museum? Uh, a little bit more about the slate, how it was mined, mm -hmm. and uh, how it was actually tight in the little cars. And the horses did it, they had horses to bring the empty things carts up. back up. Yep. So the horses would bring the empty carts back up the mountain. They'd fill them all up with slate, and then the horses would ride in the train down the mountain with the slate in their own special car and then get out of the train and do it all over again. So cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Smart. Nice view. And these these little railways like this railway Look here. Cool. But these used to run these were all over the place. Right? I mean yeah, there are these little railroads everywhere in Wales. Yeah. And the, the reason they were here was mostly for the slate, but they also did move people yeah. and, and, goods. It, and goods. Farm products. But this train that we would look at Disney World and go, oh, it's a model train. This was the shed. It was the actual train. Too. Yeah. These were the actual, the size of the train, mm -hmm. what they pulled, how many carts. Yeah. This is how you would, sorry, this is how you would ride the train. In Wales for when these were popular in the 1800s. And early early 1900s still too. Early 1900s. But, yeah. yeah, it's a great little museum. Cool, cool history. Gave you a good rundown. Not too fancy schmancy and Very friendly, friendly folks. Yep. So that's the second rainbow we've seen today. This is a double. Right over the mountains. And these two, these are our seagulls. That's Jonathan. <laughs> and over there, that that's... Um, Living space. I thought it was Pedro. <laughs> So anyway, rainbows are happening, seagulls are happening, cool little spot. So what we're looking at is stones, carrier stones or barrier stones or whatever they call them. There's probably dead people buried under those. But it's really pretty. This is Wales still. Look around. It's really pretty. Really windy. 
What do you have to say, Beth? I, it's so it's amazingly beautiful, and when the sun comes out, it's like wow! Look at all this. Yeah, so. there's the ocean over there. Just cool. All right, I have to drive. You should drive. If you notice, there's only room for one car. <laughs> So we have to watch for oncoming traffic. There could actually be a truck coming in the other direction. Yeah, or a tractor. Or a tractor. There's a little church and a cemetery. Laundry. Hmm. Must be an Airbnb around here. Probably right there. <laughs> no. Careful. So this is the sign at the exit of the road that we just came off of. We didn't have a sign like that on the end that we got in, and we were fine, but it was a single lane only. What do you think, Mark? I think that happens a lot, and I don't think any of these roads are suitable. <laughs> That's why we have our six meter van. <laughs> That's why we have our six meter van. So, just wanted to share. thing. Ready to go. this tramway thing that's going up to the top. It's a vernacular. We'll take some pictures, but this is all you're going to see on board. So I'm just going to enjoy it now. So we got off at one tram. I guess we're getting on another one. Yeah. Here comes the other here comes the other train.
It's a beautiful summer day <laughs> here in Wales. You see by my shirt where we are. Uh, we're going to go down and get an ice cream, but uh, first we're going to go up and look at the top and, and see what's going on. Uh, I thought we took the tram to the top. We did, but now we have to go to the tippy top. So here's how it works in two different languages. They basically lay out where the cable is and the whole mechanical of the thing from one end to the other. Looks like they do a lot of maintenance here. Big maintenance bay. <laughs> well, you got wheels, you got a cable. The cable's going to require maintenance. The machine itself, which we're looking at here. It's a drum machine. These are the original passenger cars. Let's get a microprocessor there. CPU. A PLC programmable logic controller. Big banded brake. And here comes the car. So here we are on the tram. We're going down there. Can you sum up? Um, great way to spend the afternoon. Yeah. Especially if the sun is shining and it's not raining on you. Yes. Which are, those two things are not happening. Yeah. Although over there. The sun is shining over there. And it's also raining. Oh, and it's also raining. <laughs> yeah. 
Did you get a little bit? I did. Did you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Uh, Surprised we're not seeing a rainbow. Yeah, we've seen a lot. Uh, a lot of people opt to walk back down. Uh-huh. For me, that's not an option. Well, especially the city street part is pretty yeah. congested. Yeah. But it looks like a, if it was a, a warmer day, yeah. I could spend some time up here. Mm -hmm. But it's not warm. No, it's fine, though. Yeah. Well, you know, we're used to the cold now. Getting used to it. Here in Wales. Wales. We just had a pint over there at the King's Head yeah. with like the worst band I've ever heard. <laughs> no, it was just the single guy uh, with the uh, guitar. Uh, no, it was like four people. Really? Yeah. There were two guitars and a drummer. I had no idea. Yeah. The, the and it was like singer. <laughs> the singer was just a drummer. Yeah. Uh, they played Buddy Holly tunes mm -hmm. and some other stuff, but they were... I think it was just old guys at the pub. Yeah, but it was, it, like I said, even though the music wasn't very well done, it was nice to have some music this at the pub. Something. Yeah. yeah. But that's where we were because it's across, like, right there. So we went in and had a cascale. And a cider. Because it's not something that we get at home. at home. So it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sit here and watch the tram go off. And then off to the campsite. So I've decided <laughs> that from now on I'm going to talk like I'm from Great Britain. So what I'm going to do is drive me crazy. It's going to drive Beth crazy. Because <laughs> I'm going to say things like do you think we chippy opens at four? <laughs> what Possibly. Do you think, Lou? Possibly. Right. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll let you know how it goes. When it gets when it gets annoying enough, perhaps I'll stop. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe not. Not. So you know.
So that's going to do it on this one on our train rides in Wales. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. We had a, a good time making it. Um, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. Uh, we're still trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark uh, just for kicks. So that's it for this one. And we'll see you up and down the road.